I never thought this day would come so soon, but I've just measured the first OLED TV panel to hit 4000 nits. Let me show you. This is a Konica Minota CS2000 spectral radiometer that cost more than my videographer's annual salary, and when I measured the latest 4th generation OLED TV panel from LG Display on a 3% window, it returned a figure of just above 4000 nits. Granted, this was in vivid mode at panel native white point. Nevertheless, it's still the highest peak brightness I've recorded from any OLED television throughout my career so far. And unlike the boost mode implemented on certain mini LED TVs, the increased light output transferred across nicely to real-world content too. As you can see in this side-by-side -side comparison against last year's third-generation OLED with Meta technology too, both showing HDR clips that have been graded to 4000 nits. Of course, those of you who have been following this channel may know that last year, Sony started shipping its new HX3110 mastering monitor that's establishing itself as the instrument of choice for creating and grading 4000 nit HDR content. Demonstrating a keen understanding of what matters to video professionals and enthusiasts, LG Display thoughtfully switched its 4th generation OLED TV panel to D65 Whitepoint and compared it side by side with the 2024 television using a competing OLED panel type, benchmarked against a Sony HX3110 reference monitor. When displaying these HDR snippets, which have been mastered to 4000 nits, LG Display's brighter 4th gen OLED panel provided a closer and more accurate match to the HDR presentation on the reference monitor in terms of peak brightness and highlight detail expression. Now, if you remember my explainer video from last year, LG Display's previous generation of Meta Technology 2 OLED with MLA Plus panel measured 3000 nits on a 3% window in vivid mode. So how has the South Korean OLED panel manufacturer increased HDR peak brightness by a sizable 33% to 4000 nits within one year? The answer lies in going from a 3-stack to 4-stack structure in terms of OLED light emission layers, dubbed primary RGB tandem technology by LG Display. Previous WOLEDs from LG Display used a 3-stack configuration, with a single integrated red, yellow and green layer sandwiched between two blue layers. By re-engineering the middle layer into separate red and green layers, LG Display has upgraded to a four-stack design comprising a red layer, one green layer and two blue layers, hence primary RGB tandem which brings several visible benefits. 1. The introduction of distinct red and green layers in place of a combined layer enhances the luminous efficiency of the overall stack, contributing to a 33% gain in HDR peak brightness, now capable of reaching 4000 nits in vivid mode. 2. Reconfiguring the OLED elements into separate red, green and blue emission layers increases the color purity, and together with the blue phosphor being updated to the latest version, the spectral wavelengths are now more focused, paving the way for a wider color gamut. On an early sample of the 4th gen OLED panel, we measured a REC 2020 coverage of 83%, a notable step up from previous W OLEDs which typically hover around the mid 70s. Last but not least, since each OLED emission layer is driven individually, Distributing the electrical current load across four layers instead of three helps reduce power consumption by up to 20% according to LG Display. And what surprised me the most was that these improvements on the 4th gen OLED panel, the higher luminance, the wider color gamut coverage, and the lower power consumption were all achieved without MLA or micro lens array technology, which explains why in the presence of ambient light, Blacks actually looked inkier, however slightly, compared to last year's MLA OLED panel. Unsurprisingly, the difference in ambient contrast is even more pronounced when comparing LG Display's primary RGB tandem OLED to its main competitor in OLED panel technology. In a pitch black room, both OLED panels displayed comparable black level and shadow detail, with any tint differences attributable to our camera sensor reacting differently to each panel's unique spectral output. However, once I switched on some dimmable ceiling lamps and gradually made the room brighter, 
you can see that the 4th gen OLED managed to retain impressive black depth, contrast and color fidelity, whereas blacks on the other OLED appeared visibly grayer, diminishing the image contrast and washing out the colors on screen. The final demonstration I witnessed during my visit to LG Display's R&D office in Seoul was a side-by-side -side comparison against the best 2024 mini LED TV, a testament to the confidence the OLED panel maker has in the brightness performance of its primary RGB tandem OLED. While mini LED is widely acknowledged to be brighter than OLED on full screen white, LG Display's 4th generation OLED had no problem keeping pace in these HDR sequences containing a mixture of bright and dark areas, frequently delivering more impactful highlights thanks to OLED's pixel level illumination control. Furthermore, in many low light scenes, the mini LED TV had to dim down small bright objects to achieve deeper blacks and suppress blooming handing the advantage to OLED whose per-pixel lighting precision allowed bright and dark elements to be rendered adjacent to each other without compromise. To wrap up, I'm extremely excited about the 4th generation primary RGB tandem OLED panel from LG Display, not least because it arguably represents the most significant leap forward in the evolution of WOLED TV technology with peak brightness touching 4000 nits for the first time, albeit at panel native white point, alongside an expansion of color gamut to cover 83% of BT2020, and power consumption even going down by 20%. The first OLED television publicly advertised to be using primary RGB tandem technology has been announced at CES 2025, and you can watch our coverage video by clicking here.